from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with the second part of my quarter four empties from 2016, and this is 100% makeup. So I'll be sure to link the non-makeup video down below, and yeah, if you want to see the makeup I went through in the last three months of 2016, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, so I have the bin. Dun, 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 dun. I actually filmed this one time prior. But I had to delete it to make room on my um, SD card because I was filming my body pump cert, which I talked about that in my latest weekly makeup basket. I'll link that down below if you're interested. But I'm like in the gym. Actually, I was recording my friends. And I'm in the gym and I was using a different camera but the same SD card. And I was just having problems with recording and not having space. So I was like, I deleted it. And once I deleted that video, I was like, no. <laughs> but I was kind of low energy in it. I just went ahead and recorded it after my non-beauty one. And I was like, you know what? It's fine. We'll just get it another time. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and jump into these products. There aren't as much... It's not as much makeup as I wanted there to be, but that's life. In this makeup look, I did record it. It's a re beauty review uh, video, so um, it might not be up yet. I think I'm going to post this and then post that. But anyways, I do a meh scale, basically 1 to 10. 0 being I don't like it, don't recommend it, stay away. 5 being I'm neutral, 10 being holy grail. So... Let's get into the, let's start off with a blast. Number 10, Holy Grail Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Have another one. We'll keep repurchasing. It's the only thing I use to set my makeup. I uh, set my makeup today with it. Not this one, obviously. But I think they repackaged it. It's black now. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. All right, next you, we have the Maybelline Dream Wander. I used this in a Project Pan. This is in 20 Classic Ivory. Absolutely loved it. They don't make it anymore, it would be a 10, did I say that? But they don't make it, so let's not talk about it anymore because our hopes and dreams have been crushed. Another product, this is L'Oreal True Match uh, Super Blend Powder. This is in Warm W3. This used to be a holy grail um, before I did YouTube. I used to only use this product, um, but now that I do YouTube, it's a 5. Like It used to be a 10, now it's a 5. Um, it's not bad. It's super reliable. It's just simple. Nothing really to it. It's not a miracle powder. But if you're at the drugstore and pick something up, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I don't think you'll be blown away. But yeah, it's a five. Alright, here we have Benefit What's Up. This is a sample size, obviously. Use this up in a project pan. When I first started using this, I was like... Rrr. But the more I used it, I'm actually considering buying a full size. Like, that's crazy because it's like $34 full size. So this is an 8. Like, I really like it. Not enough to make it a holy, holy grail because it's so expensive. But I like that it's so creamy. Like, I can put on my foundation, put this on, put a powder, and it still shows through. And then I can put it on top of that powder, and it still looks good. Like, there's not really a wrong way to wear it. It's just very nice and creamy. A lot of cream highlight sticks are not creamy, even though they should be because they're a cream. But they're not. But that one is. All right, here we have Tulip Sugar Fresh. Most of these products were used up in a project pan. That's, like, my most reliable way of using up products. But um, this... This formula is a... Eight, but this like tent of tulip is a zero. Like this is not good for me. It just makes me look like I drink Kool-Aid and I'm not adult enough to wash it off my face. I just it was not flattering to me at all. The formula is okay. It's just so expensive that I can't in my life afford to make it a holy grail. But it's okay. It's an eight. Thank you, Morty, for barking. Okay. Here is another 10 product. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss. This particular one is Dolly. This formula is a 10. I love the Dolly color. I love the Sophia color. Um, I have a spring color. Which one is it? I have the spring color in Berry Blast. This particular color is not very good on me, so it's taken a while to go through it. But once you find the color that works for you, this is amazing. And you can go through them really fast. I love the mint in these, it's like, it's not supposed to be plumping, but it just feels like your lips are alive. <laughs> um, but yeah, super easy to go through. I absolutely love this formula. It's a 10 for me, for sure. This concealer is, oh my god, it's like a 9. I'm, it's not a 10 because 
because I haven't repurchased it, but it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Mine is in light neutral. The hype is so, so, so real on this product. It's a thin, um, like light coverage when you apply it, but the formula itself is kind of thick, but it blends really well. But because it is a thicker formula, it doesn't crease as easily. You don't have to do very much to set it. Absolutely gorgeous. I was so hyped on high-end concealers after I tried this that I went and bought the Too Faced Born This Way. It was awful. It was too thin and creasy, and I took it back, and I'm like, okay, Urban, I'll see you. So definitely something I would go back to. I would recommend it, um, but it is a almost $30 concealer, so it's obviously not something I'll always have on hand, but it is really nice. Here we have a brow gel. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. This is solid. It's to, what, $2.99, $3? It's just a solid formula. Everyone compares it to the Benefit Gimme Brow because they have the same one. Not the same. This is just like a gentle hold to make it look like you kind of cared about your eyebrows. That Benefit Gimme Brow is like hairspray. Like, the formula is not different. And I don't know. People have been saying it is. I don't agree. But it's solid for $3. If you just want to throw something through your brows, it's going to do the job. All right, next we have the Tarte um, Sculptor in One. This is just a contour stick. I tried using this in a project pan like a year ago, and I didn't like it. And then I recently finished it up in a project pan, and I liked it. I mean, it's a five. I wouldn't go out and buy it, but I think that it is nice. I grew to love it. I don't know why I didn't like it before and why I like it now. Maybe I have more makeup skills than I used to. I don't really know, but it was nice. It's a five. Um, did I rate this? This is a five, the Essence Gimme Brow. All right, and then we're down to three concealers. The first one is the Max Factor Masterpiece High Volume Definition Mascara. This is in Velvet Black. I got this in an Influencer, and I think it's solid. Um, I would give an eight, like only because I wouldn't go out and repurchase it, but I think with the wand being like it is, it's like, um, rubber but it comes to a point it's very easy to use it's just going to give you a, a slightly natural defined lash it's not going to do anything crazy but it's really good just for like that everyday look and it's also good to pair with other mascaras because the wand is so thin you can get between the eyelashes gravity has been strong today i'm dropping everything all right essence forbidden volume top coat i've loved every essence mascara that I've ever tried. This was no exception. This gives you so much um, like volume and definition and it's it's more like a natural bristle one but it's still rubber but it's just like this stocky little stick <laughs> but it gets in there and it gives you so much volume. This is an 8. Um, Essence mascaras are great. They're affordable. You really can't go wrong with them at least in my humbled opinion. And then this last one is Stretch. It is Touch and Soul. This came in a Sephora kit. This is like a, f a zero to a three on the scale. Like, what? It's like probably a $30 mascara. It has like this weird wand. I don't even know. I don't think it's that great. Um, it's a very natural look. It kind of looks like the Great Lash by Maybelline. That's kind of the effect it gives to your lashes. So you definitely want to pair it with something else if you want more out of it. But anyways, that is everything. Those are the makeup empties that I went through the last three months. Like I said, not very much, but it takes a lot to go through makeup. So I feel good. I feel okay. Thanks for asking. I feel okay. But anyways, um, that's everything. I will continue this into 2017. So in March, expect to see quarter one 2017 beauty and non-beauty empties. And that's all I have for you guys. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.